I wanted to see if I could win a Risk of Rain run using only printers. I gave myself a bunch of scrap and turned off chests and enemy item drops so I had to rely completely on the printers that appear to get items. Will the printer luck serve me well or will they all be bison steak? Let's kick it off and find out. 100 white scrap, 50 green scrap, and 10 red scrap is all we have for this run. We are only allowed to use printers, and the first one we found is attack speed. I also see a bison stick printer over there, which we will be avoiding entirely even with 100 scrap. But the attack speed printer, I do think we should go into a little bit because that's going to be extremely helpful for our run. We are already off to a great start with this attack speed boost. Look at how fast Eviscerate goes. We're going to look around for more printers. We also have the artifact of Metamorphosis on, which means uh, we'll be spawning as a different survivor every stage. So we have no idea what we should be building for, but I do see, I think, a bleed printer, an energy drink printer, a watch printer. This is an absolutely ridiculous start. Let's grab a couple of watches so we don't want to burn all of our prints yet i think we, we want to keep a good amount of them it's a crowbar printer we'll just grab a, a measly two because we could spawn as like loader potentially next stage there is no rules against picking up drones and i do see a bleed printer we'll grab a couple of these as well we've already used 30 of our white scrap, but they're all good printers, so I do think this is okay. We run through a golem. I did see one more printer. It looks like it's just a medkit. We're just gonna grab one. Medkit is not one of my favorite items, so we're not gonna go super hard into it. Uh, but we'll grab one just because, uh, why not? Let's see how teleporter goes with our already pretty good build. However, it's really only good with mercenary here because we get the attack speed and bleed we'll have to avoid the death mark that is not allowed in our build it was not gotten from a printer we are not allowed to pick it up all right look i'll print one i'll use one of my 69 scrap left to print a bias mistake but you all have to subscribe. You all have to do it. It's just, it's the rules. I don't make the rules. It's Bison Steak Printer. It has to happen. We have received Commando as our next character. That is really good. The bleed can stack extremely fast. We got a good roll. So let's see what we've rolled for our printers on this stage. Let's see just how good our damage is against the Gup. Looks great. I am seeing a Focus Crystal as the printer, which may not be that helpful for Commando, but could be helpful for a loader or like a mercenary later if we roll that in the run. Oh, here's another one. What do we have in here? Topaz Brooch. Call me crazy. I'm just skipping this one. I think that is all the printers <laughs> on this stage. It didn't look like there was a whole lot going on. So let's see how the Wandering Vagrant fight goes. Uh, yeah, that's... That's, that's just about how well I thought that would go, actually. That is it for stage two. We have 66 white scrap left. We have yet to see a green printer. I think that was kind of expected. We have received Bandit, which uh, isn't great with our loadout. <laughs> the attack speed does less because our attack speed is pretty much based on how fast I can pull the trigger. We do have a green printer, and it is Shuriken. So we're going to do... I think quite a few of those. <laughs> I think shurikens will help immensely. Uh, we might start to one-shot a lot of things. Shurikens are going to be massive. I'm going to grab one more. One more. There we go. Our first green printer comes up big. Let's grab maybe six of these. I think that'll help the run quite a bit. But we're only at stage three. Our scrap is at about uh, half, almost half. We actually are on pretty good pace. Let's go pay our friend the Newt a little visit because he's got some soups in there. Teleporter time. This should be uh, decent, I hope. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that yeah. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> Let's see what the nude man's got to say to us. I think he'll be relatively impressed with what we've got going on so far. We did get multi for the bazaar. However, he will not come with us to the next stage. We have a Dio's. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one of those just in case. And a Hunter's Harpoon, which we will uh, not be touching in the slightest. Uh, there's more credits in the stage. That means we can actually find a lot of printers. Let's see how we're doing against this guy so far. I don't think we'll be doing very well. 
<laughs> it's not enough to do much. We have okay bleed, but the Newt Man is simply too beefy. Abyssal Depths can possibly have the most credits out of any stage. We did get a Rail Gunner and whoa! <laughs> Uh, I forgot just how good Railgunner's ability is with attack speed, and this, I can almost fly in this stage. If we get Railgunner on the moon, we can skip pillars. I see another green one. He's up there. I don't know what it is yet. We gotta find out. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! <laughs> That's a really fun ability to have a good attack speed on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tougher times. We'll grab a bunch of these cool that is that all right what do we have here oh my goodness <laughs> oh yeah uh that'll work just fine that'll work great thank you very much and the caves are open for those of you who don't know during stages or yeah on any stage the director has a certain amount of credits it can spawn enemies with but also spawn chests with abyssal depths has the largest of any of the stage four maps uh, and is the only stage where if you have like a cave open or an extra area it actually increases the credits of the stage all right we're running through we're running through running through run through go 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 get through oh we've cleared it <laughs> let's go uh, we cannot grab void items. I know what you're thinking. You're going, oh, Trent, you can just get the void items. No, I cannot. They do not come from scrappers, and therefore we cannot open them, even though there's three in here and I really want to. Oh, I see another green. What are we looking at? I'm going to guess Rose. No, Red Whip. I was going to say Rose Buckler, but that's a Red Whip. We'll grab four. I don't think we need too many Red Whips. We don't really need that much more movement speed. I think we're okay. I think the stage has treated us well. Let's do Teleporter. I think we'll be able to one-shot this depending on what it is. Oh, if it stayed in the band, it was over. Let's get the bleed. Go oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Another old war we cannot pick up, but that's all right. Abyssal Depths has seen the end. We are out of here, and we still have half of our white scraps. We'll be able to print a lot on the moon and on stage five. We are captain, which means we do get microbots for free. I can't do anything about it. I know it wasn't from a printer. Look, it's just, it is what it is, okay? There's nothing we can do. We've cleared the void seed, and I actually think there was not a single printer on the entire stage. You can look around. Tell me if I'm right. <laughs> I don't think there's a single printer. So we will be looping because, oddly enough, accidentally enough, we are about half of all of our scrap. And it gives us a chance to find some red printers. All right, lots of mountain shrines. However, I did not hit one because I am worried about all of the, you know, items spawning on the teleporter and us not being able to go through it without picking up illegal items. We got acrid for the bazaar. That's fine. You know, he's pretty cool. We got Ceremonial Daggers. See, here's the thing. We only have 22 scrap to work with. I don't think this is worth it right now. We have a loader. The Crowbars and Focus Crystals are going to come in now. The air crackles and arcs. Wait, oh, uh, what does that mean? Did I get a Jellyfish event? Uh-oh. <laughs> I might have gotten a Jellyfish event. I forget what that one means. It is the Jellyfish event. Every enemy on this stage is going to be a Jellyfish, including the wandering vagrant don't get there i gotta get up to him bang my goodness that is powerful oddly enough i'm not seeing almost any printers i don't think i've actually found one so we're just gonna head right on in a teleporter right off the bat okay the celestine has come in and is making everything invisible it's a little spooky uh, uh wait where's the celestine guy oh there's the okay <laughs> we're good there's a celestine somewhere i don't know where he went but we have cleared the teleporter. It's all just jellyfish. I don't really have to worry about anything else spawning. And I think with most jellyfish, one punch <laughs> should be enough to take them out. The only printer on this stage is bison steak. You're, you're joking me. You're, you're having a laugh, as they say across the pond. Uh, Beetle Queen, we should be fine, especially now <laughs> that we have our super power mode enabled. We're going to get frozen, though, which is kind of rough. But I'm not too worried about dying here. We are strong. Few things feel better than Void Fiend's uh, uncorrupted primary with high attack speed. Look at that. Come on, that's good. Hopefully, stage eight 
has uh, more stuff for us to get. These last couple stages have been lackluster to say the least. Another Scorched Acres, we are Huntress, which is gonna feel really nice with all this attack speed, which is beautiful, absolutely feels good. Another stage with no printers. Uh, we're simply gonna be continuing on. Huntress, a very fun survivor to play. Absolutely love playing as Huntress, so uh, I think we'll be okay. I did miss a repulsion armor printer. We got a couple. We got a couple at the last second. <laughs> I did waste a few. How many did we get? We, we got one. <laughs> we got one repulsion armor. It's something. I thought there were zero, and right as I hit teleporter, I noticed it, of course. Uh, but stage four should have more for us. We have a Bungus here. I'll grab a few. I, I mean, I don't really see me using that too much, but it could be a little helpful. Oh, we accidentally spawned Worship Unit faster than I expected to, but that's okay. We should be able to kill him pretty fast. We'll get our bleed going. I don't even know if we'll have... We'll probably get our Corrupted form pretty soon, too. So that is okay. This should do it. The freeze is going to be a little scary. Oh, we blocked the freeze. We're good. We obviously, we can't pick this up. Stage four teleporter. Let's see how it goes. What are we going to get as our enemy? Solus control unit. Shouldn't be terrible. With bosses, we're actually pretty good. We haven't found a armor piercing round printer, which I would love to. All right, we are leaving the fuel cell behind and off to what is most likely the final stage. We have not found many printers this loop. But stage 5 usually has a lot. We got Huntress and another Void C. Let's see if we can take out the Jailer first. He scares me the most. So, uh-oh, and that's why. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Let's make sure we're not making him upset. We gotta make sure we are away from the Jailer. I do not want to get jailed. Was that gonna get all of them? No. <laughs> that's not ideal. But we should be okay as long as we stay moving a lot. Is that a- uh-oh. Voided Solus Control Unit is quite frightening. We also have a Scavenger. This is getting pretty spooky on this loop. We have not uh, kept up the power in order to keep up with all of the crazy enemies that are spawning. Another Focus Crystal Printer. We'll go a couple into this because we have so many white scrap. We have to do at least a few. It would appear that was the only one on the entire stage. So... Let's hit teleporter, get to the moon, and let's deal with this guy first. This is actually really frightening. <laughs> we do not want that guy roaming around while we have to survive as Huntress of all characters. <laughs> I gotta take out the scavenger because yikes. Uh, any Dio's? Now nah, we're chilling. Oh boy, we're getting hurt by something bad. Oh, what are we hurt by? What is happening? No, we lost our watches. No. We have a Dio's. We should be okay, but oh man, we need to get to the moon quick and get some soups. I'm going across the entire map. I see teleporter. I don't know if we'll get there, actually. <laughs> we should be fine. We could just uh, do one of these. We get a gup here. Let's deal with the little gup guy. One side. Now we're just hitting it. We're going to deal with them while it happens. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Grandparent. Not the end of the world. We can get a band on one of them. We can run out of here. Although, if we can get a grandparent to half health, it might be able to kill everything around. So I actually, let's just leave. <laughs> and let it kill everything because I think grandparents do in fact do friendly damage Yeah, look at all the damage numbers on the screen right now. Wow We can get him Beautiful. We got a band. We're gonna leave on the ground as usual off to the moon And we are gonna print the rest of our scrap into whatever is there and we got multi as our final character that is great news and we got double nail gun multi it's the last loadout i used and i actually used it for the most satisfying build possible in risk of rain 2 so go check out that video if you haven't because that is what this double nail gun multi is from so we only have one wrap for this run but we should be able to get some good bleed with this fire rate oh boy i might lose the dios right here we gotta leave we gotta leave we cannot risk it. We gotta stay smart, stay calm, stay collected. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I clicked the wrong button. All right, we're off to soups. <laughs> we'll come back for these guys after. I see a Shattering Justice. I see a Frost Relic. I see a Harvest of Scythe. I see Infusion. What else do we have for soups? I'm hoping for a white soup. We have Crit Glasses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All of them. I got rid of Microbots too by accident, but I guess that, no, we lost some crit. No! Oh, that hurt a lot of it. Wait, heal. We can heal, grab the rest of our crit. The microbots shouldn't have been there anyway, so that's fine. We got 31 crit. Wait. How do we have that much crit? How do we have the- Wait, what happened? 
Oh, <laughs> I'm so dumb, because it's three per. It was the only white printer anyway, so it actually didn't really matter. But I forgot that you get three per every item. Shattering Justice is going to be huge. Uh, let's grab two of them. Uh, we'll grab... Actually, I don't even know if we need a Frost Relic. I'm going to grab two Shattering Justices so we get that armor reduction. I would like to grab some more Shattering Justices just because we can. And wait, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a bunch of Harvester Sides. There we go. We got Harvester Sides. We got eight of them. We should be able to heal really well now with 100% crit. And the rest of our green scrap is going into here. We do still have some white scrap though, so I'm gonna grab three more harvester sides and we will have finished all of our scrap. I need to make this jump and I need to make it well. There we go, that was flawless. Come on, that was, that, I mean, come on. That, that was pretty good. That was, that was flawless, you know? All right, we gotta go to blood pillars. Let's focus on this guy right now. We get crazy damage and crazy heals. We should be able to out heal pretty much anything now due to the Harvester Scythe coming through big. Here we go. Blood Pillar actually was great. <laughs> there was no issues there. We still have three more pillars to do. All right, Soul Pillar is done. We have two mass. I think two mass might be... No, nah, I'm going to do Soul Pillar. We need to continue hitting things. The moment big enemies stop spawning, we're in a lot of trouble. There we go. We have finished Soul. There we go. The pillars are done. We'll take out the last golem. Here we go. Mithrix comes down. Multi is ready. Let's start it up. I do not know how much damage we do. We'll probably have to tank a lot of Mithrix's damage and just focus on our heals to make it happen. I would have loved a feather or two or three or eight, but <laughs> we are left with zero. We need our shurikens to come out and do some fire ban damage too. If I just hold down Multi's attack, the uh, shurikens don't happen. So oddly enough, this is probably the best way to do it with shurikens. This is actually faster <laughs> to hit him that way. There we go, okay. Lunar Chimera, this shouldn't be as bad. We'll deal with the enemies in the air first, of course. They're going to be the most scary. We got one more Golem left. We should be all right. Here we go. Look at all the damage numbers. He's gone. We'll start off with one of these. Bang! Good band of damage. We need the good band damage. We'll just keep, we'll stay in power mode. We'll just keep hitting him like this. I do think this is truly the best way. All right, we're going to band him again here. We'll jump and we'll hit him with this. Boom! Big band. Big band damage. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of damage every time. Ooh, we got a heal. <laughs> we just heal by eliminating one of these guys. Uh-oh. Yeah, that one's gonna hurt. That one's gonna hurt. He can't hit us here. We lose our Dio's. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're too far away to be able to get close. We just have to hope that it doesn't land on us. This is the other way to do pizza, is the pure RNG strat. And stay really far away and hope that, you know... It just doesn't end up hitting you. We make sure we got a phase four skip here. It's going to be very important that we do. Oh boy. Okay, stop. Stop. Don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I got to Okay, my drones are gone. That's actually a good thing. Here we go. We should be okay here. As long as we hit him with this. Let's go. We got the phase four skip. Mithrix is defeated. Now the question is, can I kill Voidling with the same... I, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know if we're strong enough for that, but we will try. We did change characters too, and isn't it fitting that we are the Void Fiend? I think as long as we can get in Corrupted form at the right time. Oh my god, fall damage, hello? <laughs> Hold on. Uh-oh. That's okay, this whole spawning time will get our, our fungus up. We actually should be fine. But Void Fiend versus Void Ling, we'll just send him from here. Like, what could he do, you know? Oh, wait, Void Fiend damage is crazy. If we had this for Mythrix, we'd be in a great spot. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot better. Uh-oh, hey, now. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and we spawn as Huntress. That's not good. Oh, no. Huntress of all survivors. I'm not feeling too good about this. We are just going to have to, like, sit here and continue to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We do have our crit. Maybe we should have done a flurry run. Maybe. Perhaps. But I don't like flurry, so, you know. <laughs> okay. If we just continue to hit him always, how could we die? Oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, Huntress and Voidfiend combined were not able to defeat Voidling. But look at that run. Absolutely crazy with the items we got. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, let me know. 
because this was a really fun one to record. So let me know if you enjoyed. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.